Hey guys, I already made a video where I showed you how to close the software keyboard in Android programmatically. For example, when clicking a button after typing something into an edit text field. Today I want to show you a library which turns this whole process into one line of code and also gives you the ability to open the keyboard programmatically and to listen to visibility changes. So when the keyboard opens, you can react to it and when the keyboard closes, you can react to it. This library is called Keyboard Visibility Event. I will put a link to the code of this example into the description box and there you will also find a link to the library on GitHub. Okay, let's start. For this example, I have prepared the exact same code as we wrote in the close keyboard video. If you want to watch that first, you can click on the little eye in the top right corner of this video and there we close the keyboard the native way without any libraries. But you can also just follow along in this video. So we have this layout here with a text view, an edit text field and a button. When we click this button, we set the text of this edit text field to this text view. And by default, the keyboard stays opened after clicking this button. And in order to change this, we created this close keyboard method here. And instead of having to write all this code, we want to use the library instead. As usual, when we want to use a library, we first have to add a dependency for it. So we go into our build.gradle file with module colon app in its name and add a dependency. You can copy paste this dependency from the GitHub page with the most recent version number. When we have added this, we click on sync now, wait a short moment, and when it's finished syncing, we are ready to go. So back into our main activity. So as I mentioned, we have this close keyboard method here. And the first thing we do is we delete this method because we don't need it anymore. We also delete this close keyboard method call here. And now we want to use the library to uh, close the keyboard. And we simply do this with the UI util class dot hide keyboard. And we have to pass an activity, which we do with this. And it's really that simple. That's all we have to do to close the keyboard. So let's quickly test this. So I'm going to type something into this field, test, and when I click the set text button, the keyboard should hide. And it's working. When I click this button, when the keyboard is not opened, it should also not crash. And it doesn't. Okay, so that's working. One line of code, perfect. If you want to open the keyboard, you take this UI util class as well, call dot, and then you have this show keyboard method. Here you have to pass a context, which would be this, and an edit text as the target. Because when you open this keyboard, you need something where you can put your focus on to type the text in. And you need an edit text for this. So in this example, we would simply pass this for the context, and we would pass our edit text input for the edit text. But this line doesn't make sense here, so we delete it. And the other thing we can do is listen to visibility changes. So we go into our onCreate method. At the end, we need a keyboard visibility event class. This one here with capital K. And then we write dot set event listener. We have to pass an activity for which we again pass this and the listener for which we pass new keyboard visibility event listener. And we get this on visibility changed method and we get past this boolean is opened. And as the name implies, this boolean indicates if the keyboard is opened or not. So we can check if is open, if this is true. And in this case, we simply want to show a toast message. Toast dot make text. We pass main activity dot this for the context. For the text, we pass keyboard opened. For the length, we pass toast dot length short. And lastly, we call dot show to show this toast else, which means that is open is false, so the keyboard is closed, we write toast, and this time I'm going to choose this live template down here, so we don't have to write the code ourselves. For the text I pass keyboard hidden. Okay, let's test it again and see if this works. So let's try clicking this button before we did anything else. And our app doesn't crash. The only thing is that this text will seemingly disappears because we set it to an empty text. I'm going to type something in. And as you can see, keyboard opened immediately gets shown. Test, set text. Now the keyboard should close and we should see the keyboard hidden toast message. And this works as well. Let's test it again. I'm going to click on this. Keyboard opened, test tour, set text, keyboard hidden. Now I'm gonna click again, and we don't see anything because the keyboard was already hidden. If this was helpful, please leave a like, and if you want more Enter tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. Take care.